Hey, what is up Wolfpack? It's me, Cal here, and today we're going to be checking out the mace in Cold War Zombies. We're going to see how good it is, if it's worth unlocking, and the fastest and easiest way to actually unlock it. So let's hop right into it. So first things first, to unlock it in Zombies, all you got to do is get 50 kills on specials or elites with a melee weapon while your frenzied guard is active. So I have my frenzied guard maxed out, of course. And the best and easiest way to do this is if you guys go to the Step of the Easter Egg on Mauer, where you can get the Tempest Traps, the kind of uh, lures. And if you don't know how to do the Easter Egg on Mauer, the link up above in the card right now. And you just gotta do about the first or first two steps or so, and uh, you'll be right here, and you can just keep spawning in Tempest infinitely. You can also hold two of the lure traps, and two would spawn in every round, and then after a couple times, honestly, it would only start giving me one per round. Now, of course, this is going to be best to do in solo, is what I would also recommend. Keep your melee weapon maxed out on rarity and pack-a-punch as best you can. Get yourself jug, stamina up, quick revive, and go down here into the secret lab and pick up some lures and charge up your field upgrade for the Frenzied Guard. I also like to have either a Panzer still running around or a couple Disciples still floating around when it's charged up. Then I quickly throw down the lures, uh, both of them if I have two of them, and then I pop my Frenzied Guard, go finish off the Panzer, go finish off the Disciples, go kill the Tempest as quick as I can with my melee weapon. And honestly, you can get potentially up to seven kills per activation of your frenzied guard so this is really fast to do honestly i finished it in one match from rounds 15 to about 28 I, I finished it in that amount of time it was actually pretty easy which is surprising because they've actually increased difficulty compared to how easy they weapons used to be to unlock but now they're getting a little bit more difficult and by difficult i mean just a lot more time consuming all right getting into kind of the statistics of the mace of course it's basically just the knife but it has a little bit more range than the knife and does the same damage, but is a bit slower swinging than the knife, and we all know speed is what matters the most for melee weapons in zombies. Now we already know the best melee weapon, because it is the absolute fastest, is the shovel. So when you compare the shovel to the mace, the mace has, surprisingly, a little bit less range somehow than the shovel, and is a lot slower than the shovel as well. So this is not going to be one of the better melee weapons in the game. I would not recommend going for it. If you don't have a lot of time, you can only pick a couple weapons to unlock. If you want to unlock a melee weapon, go for the shovel. It is absolutely the best. With that said, though, the mace is still fun to use. Very satisfying, especially just slamming into zombies with the mace. It sounds very brutal, very gory sounding. It sounds, it's very satisfying. Let's put it that way. Besides that, if you do want to unlock the mace, like I showed you guys, it is easy and fast to unlock, so it's not too much of a hassle at all. You can grind Dark Aether out for it. I'm going to highly recommend, just like all the other melee weapons, to actually run Shatter Blast on it. It seems Shatter Blast, I, I honestly have been running that on just everything lately, especially on Mauer Toten, that is. Because the tier 5 of Shatter Blast is just really OP, even after the nerf, it's just, it's just great for taking out hordes. And it's going to be the way to go when using this mace if you're going for camo unlocks. But besides that, I'd rather use the knife or the shovel. I think I'd even rather use, I think the katana was still pretty good compared to this. But uh, this might be a little bit painful to unlock Dark Aether for just because if you're running up a horde of zombies, you're not going to be able to melee too fast. If you ever get cornered or stuff, Aether Shroud might be the way to go with this one as well, just so you can uh, get out of places. But the strat's going to be just train up zombies and then hit them every once in a while to try to hit, trigger that Shatter Blast and destroy the whole horde. Besides that, it is just as strong as the knife, so it is great against Panzers, great against Elites, and many bosses and Elites, stuff like that. Nonetheless, guys, this is my review of the mace. Hope you guys enjoyed and find this useful. I did not check it out in multiplayer because this is mainly a zombies channel, and we only care about really using the mace in zombies. In multiplayer, I assume it's going to be good. It's going to have increased range, so it's worth checking out in multiplayer. But anyways, thank you all for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.